Welcome to Zero Hit Points, everybody. It is May 14th. I'm Ryan Miller, and who knows how this is going to go, Matt Amberg. Jeez, the energy is gone. Well, I think that's what I'm getting at here. This is, first of all, Zero Hit Points, where we talk about video games, usually. That, yeah. It's not a requirement. Let's put it that way. That's fair. <laughs> It's hard and fast rules here. We play hard, and, cup- hard and loose, I mean. <laughs> no, fast and loose. It, hard and loose? Either way. What like am I, I said, talking about? We, yeah, that's we, what I mean. It doesn't matter. We're, you never know. <laughs> uh, but a couple things first of all. I'm not feeling great. Actually, I feel okay. I feel better, but I probably sound worse. So, you know. You're not it, sounding as peppy as you normally do. Well, I just wanted to get that out there. Yeah. You know, if, if you're what, don't worry about me. Okay. I'll be fine. I know. Show is going to be great. It's already amazing. Other thing, yeah, uh, we're doing this. <laughs> I always say we're doing it with like the least amount of preparation. This week might be a record. I did prepare. <laughs> I mean, we do have even an agenda. It's not that bad, but do we? Uh, uh, you'll see. Oh, I won't. I there. It, okay, and I just saw it. Wow, that's an agenda. Okay. Have you seen the agenda yet? I did. Yes. No, I looked at oh, okay, it. It's sorry. very. I was going to say you're probably less prepared than I am, but it's very good. <laughs> okay now i know you haven't seen the agenda i'm looking at it it's, oh, it okay. says right. nothing of nothing there's nothing there <laughs> ryan so tells it, the news so to it, matt that's okay. the agenda <laughs> <laughs> he's not joking that's okay because the first section is going to be i mean you've all heard of ryan springs the news on matt this one's just going to be ryan tells the news to matt uh, yeah there's I, no springing uh, yeah and but I, before that <laughs> and i'm not participating here <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna well you are because before that it's going to be matt tells the game to Ryan okay. because I have one game only I've played this last week and while there were some momentous occurrences I can't bring it into the show this week ah so it must be Red Dead Redemption it was Red Dead and I have rolled credits you've rolled credits okay yeah. that means I gotta do it pretty soon huh so you know whatever <sighs> there, there's it's a low pressure environment here around zero hit it's points. an incredibly high pressure environment for the people involved in zero hit points speaking of high pressure i finally got an instant pot oh yeah how's you, that you've seen those yeah how, good. how you like that it's pretty good they have buttons for just foods and stuff yeah they have a rice button right yeah God. they have a potatoes button for like what kind of potatoes like is it baked potato what i don't know baked? you put them in there you hit the button and then something happens, happens out, yeah. and then instantly <laughs> it's whenever somebody says instant pot the immediate like vision in my oh, head yep. is is uh no 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 you're like pot's already very easy to Dude, come it's by super, i'm super California. instant it's instantly <laughs> no the first thing i think of is and since this is a video game show it'll be re- uh related because there was a back Ooh. to the future video game back to the future part two when they're in the future and and uh uh michael j fox is playing like every member of his family and leah thompson is playing the old version of him of herself Mm. and she has a pizza hut pizza in a tiny and it's like it's like right it's like it's like like a pill or it's no it's really really small it's like the size of like like five silver dollars or something connected and she puts it into a little thing and it like it hydrates the pizza and it goes through this tiny little thing, and it goes, wah, wah, and then it's like a full-size pizza. <laughs> I love how this movie example was related to video games. I it like was. how that was the line you drew right and then. Here, here and is, here is how I can draw this line, also, that, that the game existed. Tenuously. I, yes, quite. <laughs> uh, did you ever play that game? The Nintendo? Yeah, yeah we talked future? about it. Yeah. I hate it. Oh, wow. You've gone to hate? I mean, I, I didn't have kind no, words for but it. but it was really hard, and I didn't like it. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, you... Back to wait, the future. Wait, wait. Okay, I'm talking about the Telltale game. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the Nintendo game. The... Okay, yeah, no, never played that. Yeah, I hate it in the same way I hate other Nintendo games because it was really hard in an obnoxious way. We're like, I feel like 90% of the game, if not all of it, was like Gradius... Or not Gradius, uh, like nineteen forty two style, except you were on the you were on the hoverboard. Oh. And it was way there was way more like it was way harder. I just remember I the, mean, I'm going to check this out because I'm really interested in seeing some back to the future pixel graphics. Yeah, it's no, it's weird as all get out. In fact, I wonder what the title screen is. Did they do anything nice for that? At least a good logo, maybe? I think it's actually just the um the the movie logo, but digitized. I think That's it's fine. like them standing there, like them hold him holding his glasses Ooh, up with that would be even better with oh because it's for him. the second oh okay yeah I gotcha yeah hmm. I didn't know that existed yeah also just like the Goonies game which is a f- like the Goonies two not ringing a 
Bell. Oh, really? You never wait? No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, that one was huge. That one actually did really well, or is looked upon pretty highly. I guess. I just remember yeah. that has the digitized versions. Our Goonies are good enough by Cindy Lauper. Who, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, and we're gonna connect it to more video games. Cindy Lauper DLC pack for Rocksmith. I <laughs> what really? Yes, I haven't downloaded it yet. I really am. I gotta buy that one though. Is it looking good? I, oh, it's not great! It's typically great. Typically, guitar heavy music. That's, I would. That's the thing. Think. People don't realize how much guitar is in her songs, and especially time after time, it's got great guitar parts. It's a fantastic hmm. song. All right. It is a fantastic song. That's not wrong. Yeah. Never wrong. Yeah. I'm bummed out that, that uh, they used True Colors instead of Goonies, but, you know, what are you going to do? True Colors. Yeah. Is, 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 that, is that in a Goonie? I know. No, I, no, no, I no. probably know it. Goonies is the only... No, no, no. It's True Colors was uh, her first major record, I think. Oh, That's gotcha. the, the name of the song and the name That's of the record. That's where they pull from. Gotcha. Okay, sure. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we've exhausted our... Wait, is there a Cindy Lauper NES game? I mean, let's. you would be 0% well, surprised if there was. No, I mean, like I said, they used the digitized version of her music, so I'd say yes. Okay. It's just Goonies 2. That's why it's so well-received. That's uh, Yeah, it's, it's all about the Lauper. It's the it's the, all about the Lauper. Yeah, on zero hit points, I got to change the, the tagline on the site. Hold on. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, is that is that it for games then? Because I, I literally have no idea what you're going to say, what you have been playing lately. We haven't even been super in touch, I feel like, over this week because there have been some life occurrences as well. Things are going to get... I know they always are crazy. We always say that. Like I say, at some point, it's going to lose all meaning when we start a podcast and we say, things were crazy. This show's going to be a little different. <laughs> I think that started like three years ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I, yeah, I we know. haven't we, talked this week, though. We haven't. There's and stuff happens whether we talk or not is what I'm beginning to realize. <laughs> it's occasionally. I don't know how much. How much do you want to go in? Like, to, I mean, we keep people abreast, I guess, around here, around these parts. I am it, chicken you abreast. Have no idea what I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this show used to be us talking about stuff that went on during the week in our lives and together and all that you remember that do you remember that i do i could never you forget just look it. at me blankly like that doesn't i don't <laughs> is this, who, who this, are you i'm feeling very attacked right now <laughs> what is with the third degree uh okay so just for future reference i think we've got the time this show is the other thing okay uh, i took a job myself congratulations i did Thank hear you, about this i guess previously you did. This, that's true this we have talked about yeah how it's going to affect the show, hopefully not at all. I got Monday's work from home. And when I say I took a job, like I've been taking jobs nonstop for <laughs> a very long time. Good but, job, Ryan. Yeah. Huh? I am essentially closing up half of my own business to take a day job. So I got Monday's work from home. Editing is going to be editing. It's flexible. I'm, I'm a big boy. This is my first big boy job where I'm like salaried and I don't have to clock in and all that fun stuff that all you normies. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. Uh, I don't know how it goes, really. Yeah, it's all my questions are very fun because I come in to this job like Mr. Professional own business type guy and they're running things by me super fast. And I'm like, oh, yes, that's normal. And I understand the way of the world in this in this uh, <laughs> statement that you've made. Well, again, just come to me. I, I will guide you. Okay, that's true. You have you actually. I mean, this is a job that was offered to me a year ago when you were visiting me. I, that's right. Yeah, you were yeah. in town, and we. I was in the car when you you, were. you pulled over and had to get out to talk. To I did. have an interview. I think maybe. Yeah, yeah. No, I was talking with the CEO. You did give me a lot of good advice that I carried all the way up till now. It's so the only kind I mean, of advice I really give. I mean, I don't remember now. It I just internalized it and made it my own. Well, no, exactly, and that. But that's what I'm saying. It's like all like go back, go back to any <laughs> any episode of this show. I dare any of you and find a bad piece of advice I've given. Out. <laughs> Could yes, no, yeah, do that. You'll have to listen to most of our shows, and our play count will go up. But you will be rewarded. <laughs> Actually, I'm completely serious right now. Is the weird thing. That's true. I mean, don't do it to find, you know what? Do it to find us doing something yeah. wrong. I don't but care. But also I mean, do it to up our <laughs> listener count. We love it. <laughs> We're proud of what we do. Again, I feel like everything I say comes off sarcastic. It, <laughs> you know, it does. And I, but I think that more often than not, it's because of me. Like, I, I feel like I say something that then makes it sound like you're being sarcastic because you're like, yes. Okay. Yeah. I just feel like I'm usually being sarcastic too. Yeah. You know, my favorite thing that ever happened to me. 
uh, is there was a dude, I was watching a guy give like a presentation of some sort. I don't know. And he is to this day, the most sarcastic person I think I've ever met. And it made the presentation so weird that there was a girl in the audience that was like, are you being sarcastic? And this is a totally serious subject too. And he looks right at her and goes, no. <laughs> and then just keeps going. Oh, I died. I, it was, it's fan, that, he's a legend. And that man was uh, Randy Pitchford. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, gosh, no. Let's, uh, man, I just watched the, uh, uh, the Jim Sterling thing. He did his, he, he, oh, did, did, he, do one? he did another, I, I assume that he's got multiples, but he did another screed about, about Randy Pitchford. Just straight up Randy Pitchford. Yeah. The dude. Yeah. 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 Wow. Those okay. two guys just don't like each other. And, oh. and there are, there are definitely like, man. Like, so, so the Jim Sterling thing, it, it came out, uh, the 13th. So today, uh, or yesterday, <laughs> baseball. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it came out yesterday, and he uh, the the whole th- I think the title of it is Randy P- Pitchford is poison, and wow. and okay. it talks about how at the center of any controversy and every controversy with Gearbox, it's him, and that he's got such a shallow or not shallow, he's got a fragile ego, and and he can't let things go, and then he he puts his foot in his mouth and. And uh, and they tell he totally gets to a point where where he he posts he puts a video out there where where Pitchford is ba- is just talking like just absolutely saying this guy sucks like I don't like Jim Sterling basically to which Sterling's response is yeah all right I don't care <laughs> okay. but you're still a jag the one thing about this video though that does kind of bug me. And and it's I hate that I say this about the Jim Sterling video or the yes Pitchford the, the video. Jim Sterling video yeah. is is that uh, he gets down on Pitchford for something that I think uh, that a bunch of people got down on him for and I feel like they're taking things to like way too big of a degree on it and it's that at the Borderlands three at the Borderlands three reveal. He said there won't be any microtransactions, but there oh. st- but there's still going to be things like skins and all that. I, I, I don't uh, agree with the people that took that and went just ham on it and said, you said no microtransactions, but in the same sentence, skins. Come on. Like, you knew what he said. And if you take it in context, too, he says, just like the previous Borderlands games, we'll have skins, we'll have this, but we're not doing... You knew what he was talking about. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's one of those things that in print... If you don't put the context of it, that's that's just and and it's what Pitchford lost his 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 uh his stuff at um Game Informer or somebody Andy McNamara I think yeah, yeah. managing editor of Game Informer about, about, over Twitter uh, yeah over Twitter about the about the headline that they posted which was something like Pitchford says no microtransactions but you know it was something of, of to to akin to that and and this is a case where I actually kind of agree with Pitchford where yeah that's kind of a click that it's a very clickbaity headline especially knowing that he you, like i don't like pitchford all that much but this is one of those things where like you can hit him for a whole hell of a lot more this is like oh a, yeah my, that's definitely true <laughs> this is like one of those moments of and I, i'm not giving him a pass for saying something you know saying something no, stupid no. but it's one of those things where it's like you you know what he's talking about and you're yeah. you're purposefully these people are being purposely obtuse about it you know, and it's, there's definitely two ways. I mean, it's semantics. I it's think totally why. Sem- yes, go. You no, know, and, and I agree with what you're saying. I think, and especially knowing Pitchford, knowing how he's been and what he means, I get it. And I did get it from the second he said that. Right. Even if though, yeah, after the fact, you're like, well, and I think it's that that kind of sticks with people because, yeah, I can give Pitchford the credit, but in or the benefit of the doubt, however you want to put that. But in this particular situation, that means glossing over kind of a hot button issue, you know, especially after loot boxes and after, you know, like the tide's kind of turning on microtransactions. Not that anybody ever really loved them, but after some of this high profile stuff, people are sick of it. I mean, and maybe I can just speak for myself personally after games like Gears of War 4, Halo 5. Uh, Overwatch to a point now. Overwatch to a point, but... In fact, actually, Overwatch. I would. I would. Overwatch. I think, I think Overwatch it's done fine. gets a little bit of a pass because of how easily they dole them out. Well, and because the game is solid as hell. 
like without that like that stuff could not exist and it and that game would still be just fantastic one of my tops okay you said personally so i guess that's a personal one for me but yeah personally yeah i would i would look at something (laughs) i'm just trying to be involved now no definitely you are involved this is zero hit points I could see how people would look at that and be like, okay, I get what you meant, but you're talking about something that, you know, th- that's important, you know, like it doesn't have microtransactions. I'm going to buy that and I'm going to figure out, well, it does. I mean, it, it, it literally does. Sure. I, I, it's- I'm not mad at Pitchford. And I, like I said, I get it. And yeah, there is clickbait that could be done and, and oh, yeah, yeah. bad reactions to all of it. But it's because it's microtransactions. It's because it's that. Well, and, and the, the, but the thing that gets me about it is, and I'll have to go back and double check this, but I am fairly certain that he calls that out specifically. He, does, he yes, says that's the context. there's no yes. loot boxes. There's no things like this. And it, it, it is, you said it right. It's semantics. I just like, this is such it for so many things. The fact that, if they do come out with microtransactions that are loot boxes, that are things that affect gameplay like that. Yeah. Take him to task. Burn the man at the stake. Oh, oh yes. 100%. Yes. Especially if it's gameplay. But effect, right you know? here, what he's saying and what they're talking about, like it, you're just half of these people, if not more that are, that are whinging at him are it. They're being purposely obtuse. Oh yeah. It, they're just trying to create fury and, and yeah, because they don't tactic. like Pitchford, you know, it's like, that's cool. I don't like the guy either. I got no love for him. I don't care one way or the other about him. I, this is just one of those things where it's like you're miring this game already in a stupid amount of of trouble that it, where, where it already has plenty. So I mean, you're just, this is just getting piled on. And I, again, I don't know that it's not deserved. I just think it's such a like <laughs> like it's such a piddly thing to to say. Okay, he used the wrong word. There won't be any microtrans. There, he could have said there won't be any loot boxes. There won't be any gameplay changes. But we'll still have skins and this as microtransactions yeah no no it's like he he had to if he he is a guy that now for everybody if he doesn't say exactly the words like 100 percent laying them out he's gonna get taken out of context because he's easy to and well unfortunately many of the out of context things don't work out when you see them in context for him but and i think it's because some of the in context stuff hasn't been great lately with him right like true fair better articles out there mention all of that like they mentioned taking him to task for some of the stuff that's been very recent that he is not really addressing he's just crying i mean I, let's not say he's trying to sweep it under the rug but he's certainly not addressing it in a satisfactory way that makes some of what he is oh, now talking th- about not just look like whatever let's not talk about that right now because borderlands 3 no, no, no. Like, like, i mean the, the dave eddings thing is is easily the best one for me the best example of that because his his whole response to it was was oh yeah well y- shut up dave we tried to give you more money and you you didn't say you said no you know and then and then eddings comes back and is like here's the problem with all of this explaining right. uh, you know and pitchford's response is you're just you're just ang- an angry ex employee. Yeah, I mean you're yeah. an. I mean again, I got there's no love Probably, loss for the guy, but still, you and, know? yeah. <laughs> and the guy is an absolute jag. I just like out of all of the things for people to jump on him and whinge about, like yeah, no, the guy sucks at explanations, and he's definitely not sweeping things under the rug. He is a guy that like I agree with Sterling. He has a fragile ego, and the guy is one of those. He has to have the last word on it you know like he that's what he comes off as he's got to have the last word and and his un, he's unfortunately not trustworthy to his words so. yeah yeah it, and this Which is I something mean, we probably could have touched on earlier when, when we talked about borderlands 3 and stuff like that or even just some of the some of that recent news we talked about that we're not going to talk about well if i hadn't t- if i hadn't seen the sterling video i wouldn't have even thought about it so no 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 i'm not saying we shouldn't either i'm just oh, saying yes you are He's <laughs> he's an interesting character because the times we've met him, we've shaken his hand almost every year at PAX just because he's around and he's very approachable yeah. and he's ostensibly a nice dude. Like I've never had a bad interaction with him. Right. But, it, but look, Ryan, maybe you've had interactions with racists and they weren't bad guys, quote unquote. Okay. All right. But also seeing him at the Gearbox panels, 
he always gave off this and maybe we're just talking about him for too long but he always gave off this air of, of kind of not caring you know like he would talk off the cuff and he would announce things when he wasn't supposed to and he would say things when 2k didn't necessarily want him to and stuff like that and that was always nice and you kind of always rooted for the guy like that but then as time gone on has gone on you see that it's a character it is because yeah it's 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 kind of part and parcel with this guy who flies off the handle real quick on Twitter for for not enough of a reason it seems like no nowadays, especially you know? for for a guy in the position he's in also that you know right? it's like you, you know you, you can you've seen this in the past with tons of single person five team developers where that the head developer or some guy in the, in the group or just goes off on some stupid idiot rant and that kills the game company's done that's it it's happened to right. a bunch of places, you know, this is like, but Pitchford is that guy where he's like, I have, I run a big company and I can do what I want and I'm gonna. Yeah. Seems, seems that way. And unfortunately nobody likes him for it. <laughs> Even his wife is like, eh, I'm not really into it. <laughs> he's an okay guy. <laughs> says wife of Ram. Now it's pretty. You know? <laughs> so zero hit points. Com. Mortal also- Kombat though, Ryan, <laughs> is that what you've been playing, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I've I've dug in, dug in deep to the towers. I'm I'm there. I'm on the towers. Oh, okay. Towers of time. Haven't done the regular towers. I don't care about those. I'll get to them. How are they? Towers of time partitioned. So the towers of time. The towers are not- of time are are timed towers, whereas the other oh. towers are not timed. Uh, so okay. So they oh, the, they're the rotating towers this year. The the, the 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 regular towers are just like uh MKX where it was just a tower, it had increasing levels and things were weird. You sometimes had bizarre things would happen, you know, you had no arms or whatever and you'd have to only kick. Uh so that's one set of towers. I haven't played it, so I don't know if like the weird uh, game modes are in there where it's like no arms and all that. But it is modifiers and all that. Yeah, modifiers is the word. Good mm. job. Uh, but that's the one that has just it's just a regular set of towers, and that they don't. I don't think they change at all. The towers of time are the ones where you go for gear, um, currency to buy more stuff in the crypt, what have you, all that. And, uh, and and they they rotate what's what kind of towers they are their difficulty and uh, what the um, rewards are so different skins for different characters different gear uh, different um, consumables all that different levels of money so I've been doing that for the characters that I like getting my dailies in on that action I was gonna say so they got a daily tower a weekly tower like last time uh they don't have a daily and a weekly tower they have daily objectives so i i pop on oh. and i do those for sure um, so how many towers of time are there uh, one two, and what's the difference between them one two three four five six, six seven or eight maybe wow okay i think i don't feel like there's there's not 10 and i don't feel like it's five i feel like there's more um, they're just different towers. Like there it's, it's, uh, the difficulty level spikes on them. So like some are going to be medium and they'll be medium difficulty. Some will be hard. Some will be like, you know, very hard. Oh, the, so these are all on a rotating yes. basis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How often do they rotate? Uh, different times. So there's okay. like, there's a couple that are like every two hours. I think there's one that's, there can be some that are 72 hours. It, it is, this is the like pseudo evolution. I actually think it's kind of a de evolution, honestly, uh, of what they did with injustice Two. injustice Two had the multiverse oh, okay. and the way the multiverse worked was way clearer and far, far superior. I am. O. Uh, okay. but this is good. It's fine. I like the towers. I have fun with them. I've been, uh, I've been looking around at all the, uh, the, the, the character tech, seeing who I like. I've actually gotten really into playing Jade. So I'm, I'm stick hmm. stick girl stick girl cool like stick girl. She's cool. No, I like. No, her. I like the character a lot, and she. Uh, I liked. Uh, I like uh, Dead Jade, Under Realm. N- another sure. Revenant Jade. Revenant Jade says I. Yeah. The lore master. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's Ryan the lore master. Um, it's you're like the page master. Do you get the the uh, fatality where she swings him around her stick? No, not like yet. Stabs him through the head, and they're stuck on her, their their torso or whatever's left of them is stuck on her staff, 
and she just kind of gives it a little woo and spins it around. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. The, yes, I have. That's good. It's good. I uh, I don't have. Uh, I I have gotten quite a few of the brutalities. Um, a couple of the fatalities. I actually don't have a whole ton of them, and I don't have like any of the intro movies, which I, there are a bunch of that I want to see. So, you said you. Uh, you sent me a text earlier in the week. We do. We look at this. We say we don't talk during the week. And we prove ourselves wrong almost immediately. All right. Uh, saying that accidental brutalities are the best. <laughs> they are the best. Is there a story behind that? Did you? <laughs> I accidentally did one. I did, okay. had no intention. Whoa, I, I didn't see that coming. I know. Woo. This, <laughs> this was a, what a story. I thought you were speaking theoretically. I'm like, yeah, that would be cool if that happened. Deep characterization, really, really intense uh, uh, emotional <laughs> connection. I think this story just was tops, honestly. <laughs> what an absolute adventure. A beginning, a middle, and an end. Yeah, that's, uh. that's right. Uh, the, uh, no, the, there was a... I, so I don't look... I, don't, I never looked the brutalities up, really, because they always take some weird thing that you have to do like don't hold block some and, of them are very convoluted and a number of them when they're like the don't hold block and i'm playing on a level that i'm like okay i really want to finish this because i'm in a tower and i don't want to get the loss because that loses me points and i ultimately want to get as many points as possible to get the extra rewards so i never do them but i was uh i was playing baraka at the time actually baraka obama and uh, <laughs> he, uh, this would be amazing if there was a skin for, uh, for Barack. The fact for, that there isn't for Baraka that game is failed be because the uh, one of his <laughs> again, I don't even know how I did it, I didn't look it up, I was just playing, and then the last hit had to, and I think it was don't block for the whole round, and the last hit has to come from an uppercut, and you have to hold the button down. These are two things that I rarely ever do, just uppercut is my last move That's and it's great and hold the button down for whatever reason and i heard the uh the do -do -do -do, and the screen went black and my uppercut just knocks his head straight <laughs> off <laughs> and i was well that didn't happen i did okay i love it no man that's cool it was great that happens. it was great yeah i was a huge fan of that i i like the uh the brutalities are pretty funny baraka is two of he has his he, I like Baraka's fatalities and stuff, especially you would. <laughs> the the one where he where he he jams the claws into like the side and then he lifts up and the arms just fall off. <laughs> he he cuts the dude's head off and then like <laughs> is it, it's, starts it, eating it like it, a corn on the cob. And, and he, that one? No, that's the he he uh, that's the one where he rips the face off, then he rips the next layer off, and then he pulls the brain out and starts eating it. That's right. My mistake. For his brutality, he does bite the bite bite their arm until the arm falls off. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mortal Kombat. Baraka. Song. Nutball. Baraka. Uh, Jade's cool. I like Aaron Black still. I'm still playing him too. Uh, I like that character. I'm, uh, you know, <sighs> I don't. Here's the thing. All right. I am somewhat disappointed by this cast. And, and I think it comes down to all of the new characters are not interesting or fun. I don't like their designs. I don't like their backstories. I don't like their names. I don't like anything about the new characters. 10 was better. Especially Ten was better, as far as that goes, especially Cetrion. Yeah. And we've, I don't like, and that. I even forget, I forget what your answer was to my question. Is she new or did she, has she been around no, or, she's or new. what? Okay. Her, yeah, Garrus, no. and uh, and I don't remember Cetrion the the uh, Tilda Swinton or is the other one Tilda Swinton? I don't know. No, the Chronica. Chronica. Actually, I like oh. Chronica. I like Garrus. I like Garrus. Gar both Garrus and and um whoever I was just talking about. That's not Chronica. Now Cetrion. I'm Cetrion. <laughs> the, yeah. the one we want to forget. Yeah. Garrus and Cetrion in the story too are like they are. <laughs> they're those characters that you're like man they could be really interesting oh you didn't do anything with them okay great i i would disagree about gears though i liked him because he was like he would come back from anything he was the indestructible guy even though you could still win against him it's like he doesn't die he always comes back and then you do the fight thing and then he's dead and he doesn't like he will come back later but i thought that aspect to him was was pretty uh not necessarily frightening but uh impending you know like that was a good I, it was a 
was just one of those bit like cool idea for who he is, but in terms of how he's used, it, it's garbage. It's stupid. Like, like <laughs> both he and th- they're just <sighs> no. Cetri- everything you're saying is is Cetrion for me. Gears, I'm I. See, yeah, Disagree no, so far, G- but... Garrus is that character that's like, uh, I'm in your way. Oh, you got me again. Haha, <laughs> I'm in your way. You've done nothing to advance anything. You Sounds just like him. He did nothing to advance <laughs> any story. He's like, I'm going to stop everything. You can't no, stop I me. Mean, he's not a character. and Which is the problem? No, it's just the sense of impending. No, I, I, I mean... <laughs> I get. I don't know. Yes, whatever. No, it, this is just a. You, you enjoyed the story more than I did, and the more I think about it, and the more the last half. Anyway, the more those characters, the more I think about those new characters, they just don't. None of those characters sit for me in that in that world. Like in that, definitely a miss compared to ten. Like ten, if you think about it, they had the brilliant idea of the new characters were the, the babies, right? They were the kids, right? That's kind of inherently compelling already. Although I guess you could also say they did more with those characters and the characterization of them than they do with any of the new ones here, even if I like Gears. Well, they don't. That's and that's the thing is like this is you, you know okay now now we're getting somewhere in my my thought process here. Mm, the, we've done it. The story doesn't do anything with anybody. There is no story here other than Bat Raiden becomes Bad Raiden. How we stop Bad Raiden? Okay. There's nobody grows, nobody changes, nothing happens. The kids are still the kids. The parents are still the parents. The ones from the past are still the ones from the past. They don't do anything. Like the closest character that gets any arc here are, are going to be Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and Jade, basically the Revenant characters. And Jax gets the biggest story, I think, change of all. We're, we're, Jax gives it's the biggest story, the biggest treatment for right, sure. Right, which is cool, but he's the okay. So I take it back. He's the one character that gets something. Liu Kang is the one that gets secondarily. Raiden, kind of, but again, with Raiden, it's more of a bad Raiden or good Raiden. Uh, I put Raiden in second place because I feel like they delve into because he finds out that he it's it's past Raiden that comes. He finds out that he's going to turn into bad Raiden. So a lot of it is, and this is where playing Mortal Kombat 9 would have helped me out a little bit more, but since I've watched, I think, two 30-minute videos on the the whole story and how it, it, which I should shout them out because one of them is straight up chronological and the other one uh, kind of releases the information as you got it in the games type thing. Anyways, but Raiden then has that back and forth with himself most of the time, sure, about not trying to become bad and then there's that moment in the story where he almost does and realizes this is the point where it happened where they're kind of recreating events from mortal kombat 9 so i actually like i would i would put raiden in second place as a character that does something i would agree Liu Kang probably third and then everybody else yeah they don't there's no progress like i like what's done with katana how she becomes con and stuff like that but her character is the same beginning to end uh everybody else yeah pretty much same thing there's no real development per se you know no and and i think like <laughs> And and um, beyond all of that, like if this is if they're gonna do the we we were making a trilogy and now this trilogy is done, cool, unsatisfying ending. If they're gonna continue <laughs> going on, cool, unsatisfying ending to this game. But I I just I disagree on Raiden because I I truly think that the the game is Raiden going. Oh man, I turned bad. Okay, well I guess I shouldn't. That's it. No, it's not. It totally is. And then it's Raiden going, okay, the only way to win is for me to become you. You're Neo. Congratulations. (laughs) It's like it's Mortal Kombat meets the Matrix by way of murder on the Orient Express. Can't even process that. So I guess you win. That's exactly right. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wait. Raiden's got the hat. Okay, now I get the Orient Express. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Liu Liu Kang is is, uh, Kenneth Branagh. (laughs) No, what it, did I? Oh, oh, that's uh, okay. Yeah, I watched the Kenneth Branagh movie. Thursdays we do another show called Book Club for Movies. Was so it? And check it out. Shakespeare, a Shakespearean movie? No, it was not. Oh man, it was Thor. Oh, I've been spoiler alert for nothing actually at all. We should stop beginning sentences like that. I'm watching all of the movies I have deemed necessary to watch Endgame. I've already seen Endgame, but my family has not. So I'm putting them through all the movies that I've only omitted. Actually, I guess there's 20 something, so I might have omitted like there are 22. 22, right? I oh, whatever. We'll talk about it on you Thursday. Probably I'll only put need out that 15 list. 15 of but them to 12. Yeah, and I think that's what my list ended up being. And we'll we'll get at that. Thursday is going to be. In fact, if you're turning in Thursday to watch us do Triple Frontier, 
I apologize. No, I apologize. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We can both apologize. It's not, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can apologize. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but we're not going to do Triple Frontier. We've ran out of time, and we're going to save it for, unfortunately, two weeks from now, because my first day is Monday, and you can't record on that day anyway, so we're going to take a bye. Uh, which is that? A, am I using that correctly? It's a sports term, isn't it? I'm sorry. Take a bye week. Yes. Okay. Correct. And we'll be back after that. Very anyway, good. back to Mortal Kombat's poor story. Uh, no, that's I, I. We don't have to go into any further. We I, don't. I, I'm enjoying where we diverge on that, but and I like the game. I think we've done it. The for gameplay today, is yeah. there for me. It's a downer for me that the the story isn't, but I enjoy the game. So there's that. Uh, other video games I played this week are in very, very, very small amounts. Okay. And what I like to, I wasn't expecting another, honestly, what I like to refer to those games uh, as are mortal Kombat mobile. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) and that is not so much a game as it is just something I look at and go, well, is, is WWE Supercard sitting alone, forlorn, abandoned on like the second page of your phone now? No, it's still on the first page. I, I log oh, okay. in and do my, get my daily stuff from it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll get back. Yeah, I'm I'll, just gauging how bad it is. No, I'll get back to it. it it's uh, um, honestly, when it comes to my mobile games, I actually like, so I took a really long break uh, from doing the crossword and I've gotten back into that for the past like two month or so. Okay. Breaks are healthy. Yeah, and the nice thing about the crossword, and and this is stupid, I know, but is it's that they keep um, the archive of them, so I could just go back for as long as I freaking oh, nice. want to and do the, th- the puzzles forever. The solitaire does the same thing, which I have also been taking a break from because there was an achievement for logging in every day of a month, and now that that's out, the only achievements left are have to do with the medals, and you get those just by building up by playing through games, but it keeps an archive of the month. So I can go back on the last day of the month and play all the ones I need to, to get the medals if I want, but that would take a lot of time. So nice. All right. So we've got our daily games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you want to say anything about mortal Kombat mobile? No, nah, anything nah. additional. It's, okay. all right. it's whatever. too late. You already did. Die! You got me. Anything else? No. All right. Tell me well, the news. I will tell you the news. I'm going to spring it on you. Cause I don't know if any of these are worth springing. They're just the things that I saw that seemed more interesting than not, Okay. The the first one is just this Rainbow Six Siege thing about how they've developed a way of dealing with team killers. Seen this? Uh, no. It's called Reverse Friendly Fire. If you team kill somebody, that person can choose to make it so the next time that person tries to team kill somebody, their bullets are reflected back at them. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not an automatic boot, but you can choose to <laughs> make them play the game a little more carefully I if they didn't kill you on purpose. I love it. It's great, right? I love, I love it. any headline like this. I do. I love it because you know what's going to happen to that. People are going to dive in front of other people to get killed so they can do it to them. <laughs> so they oh, can be sure. like, oh, yeah, yep. let's play a different game. It's called Tag. You're it. That's some Halo the, the people did that in Halo was the last time I remember that happening because Halo had the automatic boot when you team killed somebody, I want to say. I don't remember. It was the last game I remember playing that actually had team killing because people have figured out why is that in your game anyways. Yeah, no, it's never a good choice. Why is that in Rainbow Six? Because is Rainbow because Six the... is completely realistic in every way. Okay. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> uh, Ghost Recon. There's a new Ghost Recon game. There is. Yeah. Ghost Recon... It's got John Bernthal in it. Ghost Recon uh, John Bernthal. Where is your subtitle, you stupid game? Breakpoint. Ghost Recon, where is your subtitle, stupid game, colon, breakpoint? Colon, breakpoint. That's, yeah, I don't know. I, I watched, is there, okay, there is an actual trailer. I didn't watch the trailer. This thing was linked to the gameplay reveal, so it's like an hour-long video. Are, where it just looks like Ghost Recon. Are we back to Wildlands or is it like uh, no. Advanced Warfighter? It, they mentioned like the the this video they link like goes through the entire history. And it's like it's another one in those. I mean, they're they're very uh, under the impression that Ghost Recon has been a kind of a landmark series in the genre. Uh, they they cite many examples and and proof of this statement. Okay. Yeah, it's just another Ghost Recon game. They're focusing on the Ghost Recon brand, not Advanced Warfighter, not Wildland, nothing. This is just the Advanced next Ghost Warfighter. Recon. That's right. Yeah. I remember uh I remember when that first one came out, man, and, and I I just got an Xbox. 
wow, that game blew my mind at how cool it looked and what you could do with it. Like, I would be interested in going back. In fact, I, I should look that up to see if that's one of the originals that they have on, on the Xbox One. It's weird. But this game, I don't know. We'll see. I, if I've, I haven't been following Ghost Recon for a bit. Even though Wildlands was fun enough, it just wasn't different enough. It was, yeah, it was way too generic. So that's that piece of news. Anything you like that? Okay. The last little bit has a fun story to it. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, fair. Mm -hmm. So there's a show you may have heard of called the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. I've heard about it. It it starred, uh, not Bob Hoskins, (laughs) Captain Lou Albano. No, not Bob Hoskins. Yes, Captain Lou Albano. It had a, like an animation part to it. It had, you know, which was the my thing favorite. Part. I always remember most. Was it okay? The so cartoon the was thing, my favorite part. Yeah, it was good. The Zelda one in there. The Mario Brothers one in there. I feel like the Zelda one was like only in there occasionally. It hardly ever happened. And I also feel like, and maybe this was a different show. Maybe this was um, uh, Captain Nintendo or whatever the hell that show was called. Oh yeah, I don't remember. That had a uh, every once in a while the eggplant wizard would show up. Um, that means a very different thing nowadays. It does, and that's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Name of my autobiography. Captain. Eggplant Wizard. Like disappointing. Colon disappointing. <laughs> colon disappointing. Colon breakpoint. <laughs> Breaking point. Actually, that'd be better. There that's you. my wife's autobiography. <laughs> Breaking point. So, this show featured... Oh, I was going to say, my favorite part of that show actually was... Remember the Koopa? It wasn't a live show, but it was like there you could see the kid audience in there. Yeah, there was yeah, a guy yeah. dressed as King Koopa, and he would go or Bowser, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was like UHF. I always loved that because the first guy, and I've never looked this up on the internet, so I don't know what the real story is, or or if I can even verify it, or maybe I made it up. This is a created, you know, kids create uh, traumatic memories, you know, on accident. Maybe <laughs> I created this on accident. All right, I'm interested now. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there, the guy in the Koopa costume was played by two guys. I know for sure because the first guy used to talk to the production crew from time to time. Like he would make a joke to them over the heads of, like, and literally over the heads of the kids. <laughs> and I would pick up on that stuff, and I remember liking it. And then that guy left, and they got another guy, and he was all business. Like he would only talk to the kids. He, he had he, he had like a different kid voice going on too. And I remember thinking, oh man, I miss the other guy. So the, I need to look that up actually. Yeah, that's because that second guy sounds like the worst. He does. Like that's probably the whole reason the show got canceled, that's and no other reason. Always Bowser. But uh, these cartoons were done by DIC Animation City, and yeah. I guess they had. I remember Dick. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. But I do I actually totally remember. Make the like, connection. I totally no. remember that on the the, the cartoons. The the, the, uh, the dick. Because at the I mean, number one, you're a kid and you see this and you laugh. But the the at the end of the when they had their little stinger at the end of whatever show they created and yeah, they would yeah. go deek and you were like what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they apparently had pitched a couple other things to Nintendo. And in doing so, they created some, I don't know if this was part of the pitch or what, because they were cartoons that never saw the light of day, but they had a Castlevania one and a Metroid one. And why this is interesting is because the little postcard for Metroid, they had no idea that Samus was a girl. girl, right? (laughs) So it was a boy. (laughs) So they got the dude and uh, the links, I don't know if you're looking at the article or not. Oh no, I saw this one because now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's great. It it was just a fun little piece of history, both because I like thinking about that show and because it's funny the way stuff worked back then and how this thing, but it's, Oh, also the story is that uh, one of the guys that worked for Dick animation city never, never goes away. You always giggle at it. Nobody can say that without giggling is because uh, there was an eBay, like one of those guys that used to work there. I I don't know if he died, but he had an estate sale and a couple of them were picked up or are on eBay. So this came out and, I like stories like that. Yeah, for sure. Those are cool. Like those weird hidden gems of things that were never meant to see the light of day. Right. Yeah. Like the right. Snyder cut of Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> Some would say the Whedon cut of Justice League. Oh, Not us. No, we saw that. We were okay with it. Yeah, it was fine. Or, I think you liked it better than I did, but I was just fine with it. I just don't I don't I just yeah. don't care. Like it's it's <laughs> it was a totally fun movie to me. That was at the end of the day. So Book club for right. movies Thursdays. So let's go. Let's go do that show now. I let's think. go do that show now. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you want to get at us, podcast at zerohitpoints dot com. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're on Insta. Ram. As the kids say, 
Or is it just Graham? Do we move to Graham now? Which half of the word we're using? I, I go with the latter half because I like Graham. crackers. Smart. Mm -hmm. We're on the Graham. Check us out. <laughs> the Graham. And, uh, See, it sounds way cooler than Insta. You're right. No, it does. It sounds like... Insta what? It's Pot? Simultaneously more childish. Like I have a, a bag of Grahams on my table right now. Yeah, right. Teddy Grahams. I need to post... You know what? It's coming up. Picture of Grahams on the Graham. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to do it like every... We, how many different versions of the Graham? You've got the Instagram. You could post a picture of a Telegram. You got to post a picture of your grandma. Yeah. I <laughs> could, could I post a picture of a Telegram? You, why not? From my grandma? All my grandmas are dead. Well, send her a telegram from to heaven. <laughs> Telegrams to heaven. It. That that's my uh, that's my <laughs> real big fish cover band. <laughs> Tuesdays for more zero hit points next week. We'll see you on Thursday. It won't happen next week, but that's fine. Oh, that's right. Dang it. <laughs> Whatever. I <laughs> I corrected it just fine. You did, yeah.